Hello, this is Yukine from Yuki News, and I came across this news this week, and I felt like I just wanted to have a conversation with you guys. This topic is very serious, and it means a lot to me. So I just want to have this one-to-one -one conversation, like a dialogue. By the way, I'm filming using my webcam, and sorry for the quality. Anyways, uh, let's start. So, last Saturday, July 18, a very young, famous actor, Miura Haruma, was found dead, hanging in his own closet uh, in his apartment in Tokyo. You guys might have seen him in the movie Attack of Titan as Helen or Gokusen. Even up to now, I don't really, I don't really like to think that he's already gone. I have been a huge fan of Miura Haruma-san since the Koizora movie back in 2007, which is more than a decade ago. My favorite movie of him will probably be 5 Minutes to Tomorrow or Shen Ye Qian, The Wu Fen Zhong in Chinese. Uh, I watched that movie in my Chinese class in uni. It's a Japanese-Chinese romance suspense. and. I'm just amazed how he mastered the language just for the movie and I really admire his sickening work ethic, his discipline and he made so much sacrifices to make this great movies. He was the person who you would love to see how he grows as an actor. We were looking forward seeing Miura Haruma-san when he turned 40 or 50 or 60 and he was only 30 when he died he was a very very young talented actor and a great singer actually um if you haven't heard of his music go check it out he was actually supposed to be in music station this friday we call that famous show uh emuste where many famous legendary artists perform there so it was a big deal for him and as fans and speaking of big deal he was also gonna have this project in Hollywood so you could really tell that he had a successful career he never had a bad reputation or you know he was very disciplined and he was never late at work I have never been this really sad hearing famous person passing it really breaks my heart and in my generation, we felt like we grew up with him because we knew him since his childhood. He grew up on screen through filming shows and movie. Everybody liked him. And I still want to think that he's just uh, taking a long vacation and maybe someday he'll come back. It's still sad. I just want to openly talk how mental illness and suicide affects us all. In my country, Japan, suicide is the number one leading cause of death for young generation, but it doesn't get so much attention. Considering the problem of uh, continuous decreasing of population in Japan, I see this as a public health threat, and less population means it leads to loss of productivity and many other problems. This young generation is aging from 15 to 39 years old and I don't think they commit suicide because they want to die. It is because they are in pain, they are depressed. So depression is a common mental illness and it is connected to feeling emotionally in pain and helplessness. I wish Mental health was not so taboo in our society and I do understand that Japanese people grew up with the mentality of enduring any difficult situations in life no matter what, especially for our parents, uh, their generation, because that was the way of uh, parenting back then. People back then had to be strong for their country, especially after Japan lost in World War II. I know our grandparents went through worse stuff back then. My grandfather died from overworking when my dad was a kid, so 
I never got the chance to meet him, but I can imagine how difficult life was for my dad and my grandma. Now one in five people has mental health problem in my country. Just think about it for a second. It can be your friends at school or your co-worker, it could be your family member or it could be you. I was suicidal at one point in my life. Trust me, it's not something like you're feeling sad for having a bad day. It's more like feeling of being trapped every day, never-ending excruciating pain and depression. You would feel very helpless. Someone taught me that if there is a scale of mental health from negative 10 to positive 10, it will look something like this. Uh, so imagine zero will be the normal, meaning you are okay, not feeling miserable, but not too yanky or energetic. Uh, people who are in positive number, so 1 to 10, they are more uh, motivated in life and they are motivated to better, to bettering themselves. But if you're in a negative number, you are depressed and that is when it is highly recommended to seek help from professional. Dr. Andrew Solomon said in his TED talk that the opposite of depression is not happiness. The opposite of depression is vitality. Just because you're feeling sad doesn't exactly mean you are depressed. And this is just my opinion. I feel like some people use the word depression lightly. But at the same time, it is hard for me to spot if a person is really feeling depressed and needs help. But when the scale goes further to left, the negative side, the situation gets worse and without help, the choice you have will be suicide because you are in constant pain. And again, suicide is a desperate act to get relief from that pain. It is important to always check in with yourself to just kind of reframe how you feel daily. For some people, they have their own psychiatrist to take care of their mental health. We are just human and I mean... Even psychiatrists have their own psychiatrists that they talk to. But the sad thing is most people who are depressed don't even realize they need help. And some people in my country even think that this is a sign of weakness, like a character flaw. By the way, I'm just sharing my thoughts based on my experience and I'm not an expert to give you a lesson about, you know, depression, suicide. Which is why I encourage you to study about this and be open because it helps to change this social stigma when it comes to mental illness and suicide. There is nothing wrong to seek help. It is an act of self-care. I will put links for more information on helping people who have suicidal thoughts. And if you are having suicidal thoughts, I really encourage you to receive help from health professionals because the situation will not take care of itself also i want you to know that you are loved and you are important it can and it will get better god loves you thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you soon bye